What's going on YouTube? So I took a break from school today. I have a two hour period between my morning class and my afternoon class. And so I decided to come home for a little bit and take a nap. And I realized towards the end of my nap, I'm like, oh my God, it's 70 and sunny out. What a waste of a day it would be if I didn't ride the class. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So I normally do not like riding the class because contrary to popular belief, riding the class actually ends up taking a lot longer than you think. In fact, I think I'm already gonna be late to class. This is a great, this is a great start. What would class be without a little bit of caffeine to start it out with, huh? What? I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry, we're late to class. I think I'm gonna make it like 10 minutes after it starts. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Just that. Thank you. Have a good one. I'm not gonna get gas. I think I can make it to class with the gas that I have, which is not a lot. Oh boy. Well, when it was off the kickstand, it said two bars, and now when it was on the kickstand, it says one bar. Blinking one bar, by the way, which means I'm about to run out of gas. So I'm gonna get to this next intersection, and if that doesn't reset, then we have to stop and get gas, which basically means I'm not gonna make this class at all. Going to school? Oh, yeah, yeah, stop blinking. So that means we probably have enough gas to get to where I'm trying to go. Listen, going to school is a privilege. I get there's a lot of college students out there who think the college isn't that important, they skip class. I don't try to be like that. I'm in my senior year. Some of my professors may disagree with me on this, but I really do try to make it to class on time, despite my mental not wanting to go. I think every college kid can relate to that. Like, you just don't want to go to class because it doesn't feel that necessary. A lot of the times it feels like a lot of what I can learn, I can just learn from my desk at home on my computer, but they don't call it earning a degree for nothing. <laughs> you really, you have to go in. You just have to. If you're going to graduate on time, if at all, you have to go in and put in the work and put in the time. I don't think I can make that. Ah. The universe just does not want me to make it to class on time. Yeah, see, this ain't California State. No, and I got the express van in front of me. And all, oh no. All right, well, I guess we're going five miles an hour the entire way there. I probably could have made that. Yep, I'm gonna have to figure that out because I cannot go 25 miles an hour the whole way there. That's just not enjoyable. See, I might be late to class if we do this the whole way there. So I might have to. Get yeah, see, I can't probably post anything of what I just did, but I was hoping for a chill ride to school like this. This is more chill than what I was just doing. I can't show any of that because look, it would be setting a bad example for the young people who watch my page. That's not good. We're safe out here. We have to be good boys. Do as I say, not as I do, for, trust me. Anyway, the reasons I don't like riding to school is I go to college and in my opinion, maybe it's just because I'm a 22 year old in college, senior year, um, there's a lot of dumb kids in college. College kids are some of the most immature people and on, it feels like an extension of high school these days. At least the college, the whole college experience, I hate it. I don't like college kids. I literally have not ever gotten along with them. Every time I try, I just end up regretting it and it sucks. What I get along best doing is this. I have earplugs in my ears. Usually most people who ride motorcycles have earplugs, so my bad hearing, I'm like, I'm an even playing field to everybody else. I don't have to talk to people if I don't want to. I can just listen to music. Like, everything about riding is me. That's who I am. It's what I feel my most myself whenever I'm doing something. Like, if I'm doing something else, I don't feel like myself unless I'm riding. And so school, whenever I'm at school, I usually drive my car to school. I don't ride there. I don't feel like myself. I just feel like I'm existing. Just not fun. It's not a good feeling. But anyway, the reasons I don't usually ride to school is again, you got a bunch of immature kids have literally zero respect for anybody else. What I've seen if, through anecdotal evidence is that whenever you drive or ride something cool, a uh, campus university or whatever, like a school, even high school, kids tend to mess with it. They they touch it, they sit on it, they dis it's disrespectful. And I dealt with this in high school and maybe that's why I have like a little bit of this like, I don't know what to call it, lingering effect from that psychologically that I just don't like to have my nice things around people and I, I would rather just keep them to myself if possible like at least in the physical realm like the digital space obviously is different and I post about my bikes but that's different I'm not gonna ride my bike to like a family gathering or like a, a, a friend event or something like I, I just ride bikes whenever I want to ride bikes I don't really ride them to I don't commute on my bikes many places which is also the reason the only reason I'm doing this right now is because I have this bike this is like a cheap bike to me and relative to my other bikes that I could care a little bit less about I still care about it deeply I still love this bike 
but like if this got totaled in a parking lot or it got a scratch on it from someone sitting on it that shouldn't have because they had a bunch of metal zippers and scratched it all up i'd be a little bit less heartbroken than it was if it was something like my v4 which i cherish deeply and i love that bike and i want to keep it forever i mean i might keep this bike forever but like it already has tons of scratches on it i don't really care if it gets another one like whatever it's fine to me but even that being said i still don't even ride this bike to school that much i just don't like commuting on my bikes I joyride. So my recommendation, like if you get a bike, especially in high school, because I had my first motorcycle while I was in high school. My recommendation is don't ride it to school. I know as much as you may want to, you're proud of it. You know, you probably likely worked your ass off if you're buying a motorcycle in high school. It's, it's really not worth the trade off of having to deal with crappy people. As much as I hate to say it, it's best to just keep it to yourself. The world is such a stupid place, and I hate it sometimes. I hate the world. I hate people. People as a collective are just stupid. And you know what isn't? Your bike. Your bike's not dumb. So don't take it to school and have it be spoiled by other people. I can't wait to find out how late I am. Plus, the weather here usually sucks. It is unpredictable. A day like today is obviously the exception, which is why I'm doing it. And here we are. This is Baldwin Wallace University. This is where I am currently a senior at. Police station is right there, and so I'm probably going to park up somewhere over here. You could lock the steering heads on motorcycles like this with the key if you bring it all the way to the left. It'll lock the steering head. But what you have to realize about this is that this is very easily broken on most bikes. If you smash it to the left hard enough, that steering lock will can and will absolutely break and then someone could just walk away with your bike they can't turn it on without the key but yeah they can just walk away with your bike and my class is all the way in a building way down there and so i now have to leave my bike there parked for about an hour dressing and worrying about it pretty much the entire time cool right i have full coverage on it like if someone did actually were like if they were to steal it right in front of a police station probably not the smartest idea but in the off chance it did happen i'm fully covered so well, anyway i'm gonna cut the video here for a little bit i don't want to get any of my classmates on camera just because like they're just coming to class i want to respect their privacy they didn't come here to be in a youtube video so just out of respect for everybody involved i'm gonna i'm gonna be right back so i'll see you guys in an hour my class is over bye i just got out of my french class it's a great class i love it but i just wish it wasn't so damn interactive and see now we get to play my favorite game it's called let's see if my bike is still sitting where i left it run me over i dare you me it was so cute my french teacher saw my helmet as i was getting up at the end of class she asked me oh what's the helmet for and i told her oh it's for our motorcycle and she just told me she's like oh be careful i'm not worried about you i'm worried about the other people on the road yada 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 the things i hear all the time i'm like oh no it's okay it's definitely me on the road that's the problem please be okay 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 okay i have me worried there i didn't see it for a second i was like oh my god no i just come over and it's just like upside down worst case scenario would be like if it just wasn't here anymore it was just like poof gone okay well and for people who are curious about my mt07 build because i know that this is a super popular bike and people love building these out this is a 2022 model so it is the last year of the like calculator like screen which i prefer i think it looks super clean the new ones have these giant screens that stick out to here and they're i don't they're fine they're better honestly with a screen but like the functionality is better but the looks wise i just prefer this this generation i have a non-name brand tail tidy i can't quite remember the name of the brand but the original color for this was gray but i replaced it with a matte black one this is oem so it is missing the stickers but that's something you can always add the front is still paint mismatched, so it looks really bad. But again, this is the cheap bike. It's not really something I bother keeping. I'm not worried, super worried about the looks of this bike, as long as it sounds good, which it very much does. This is the most expensive exhaust I think you can get for this bike, and I absolutely think it's worth every penny. It's only like 800 bucks, which I guess compared to most motorcycle exhausts is very expensive. But for a full exhaust that has a titanium muffler, it's pretty good. But anyway, I just got out of French class. French class is very strange. I think I, I just find French as a language very interesting. I don't study languages that much. I studied uh, Spanish the last few semesters. So I went from hola to oui oui. It's not been a great transition so far. The grammar structure is all different. I'm really struggling with the pronunciation of words just because everything's so different from Spanish and English. But luckily, I don't think I'm the only one struggling because I'm pretty sure everybody in that class is like, we don't know what we're doing. Which is the whole point of learning. That's why you get into something is because you don't know it and you want to learn it. I have a desire to learn French. So we're going we're gonna to figure it out. That's why we go to the classes, baby. Teacher's really cool. Everybody in the class classroom is pretty chill i gotta say like i think like 80 percent of my classes or i would say like majority of my classes are like 80 percent 90 percent women 
and I'm taking mostly STEM classes, which is great, women in STEM, but what that tells me is there's not a lot of young men going to college these days. And I think that is backed up by statistical data. Young men are not going to college, they're going to trade schools, which is good. We, we need trades, we need cheap trades. That's good, you wanna be able to have your AC fixed in a timely manner and, and cheaply. And to do that is free market economics, have more people who can fix AC, more HVAC people, which is good. That, that's a good thing for society. But in terms, if you are a young man right now, looking for a career into the future, I think that there is this weird phenomenon that ha happens every other generation, where the millennial generation, the generation that came before us, I'm, I'm, I'm like the older half of Gen Z. I was born in 2001 post 9-11. There was a lot of millennials who went to college, and so any other generation, millennials have more college debt. I think Gen Z is quickly catching up, but that's just because college costs is just exponentially more. I think there's a lot less people going to college than the millennial generation. And so when it came time for my generation, the Gen Z kids, to get into the college and school, when it became that age, a lot of them were told, hey, everyone's going to college these days. You don't want to waste your time in college. That's what everyone else is doing. So why don't you go into a trade? That way you have job security, well-paying jobs, most likely better than the ones that you're going to get out of college with no debt. And it's great, but what's going to happen is eventually that's going to even out and the pendulum is going to swing the other way, where all of a sudden we have too many people in trades and not enough people in college. And so basically what I'm trying to say is that you don't need to go to college and you don't need to go to trade school. What you need to do is do what you want with your life. And that doesn't mean like completely dedicate your life to something that doesn't make any money. Like Dave Ramsey likes to say, left-handed puppetry, which I'm not the biggest fan of Dave Ramsey. I'm just using him as an example. It's something funny I remember him used to say. But besides the point, not everyone needs to go to college, and not everybody should go into a trade. I think you need to find what you love to do that maximizes the most amount of money, the most ROI. And unfortunately, we live in an unfair world, and there are some jobs that not everybody is allowed to do. Like, there are these, uh, there are rich kids who have their mom or dad as a CEO at a company. They get to go be, like, a risk financial manager or something. Someone who basically just sits at a desk all day and does nothing, gets paid $120,000 a year. There are some jobs you will never be able to do just simply because of the family or situation that you were born into. And that's just what it is. The most comfortable way to live in this life, I've found personally, is to do something that you love and figure out how to make money with it. That's what I'm doing with this. And I don't even have to go to college for it. I'm just doing college just in case this plan doesn't work out. Then I can go, I'm studying environmental science. I'm gonna have an environmental science degree. I can go work for EPA or go be a wildland firefighter, something like that. Doing something that I love, while maximizing the most amount of money possible. And look, money's not the key to happiness. That's gonna un unlock everything. That's what I'm saying. Like you wanna find that perfect balance between something that you like doing and something that makes you a lot of money. Cause there are a lot of rich people I've met who are miserable. They have tons of friends, family around them make tons of money yet they're still miserable there's no secret key to happiness guys that's all we're trying to do in life we're just trying to get to the old age to the point where we can't ride two wheels anymore we have to add a third no offense man i'm not i'm not docking it at all i do wish he could pick up the pace a little bit but i mean he's made it this far or he or she i honestly can't tell he or she has made it this far in life so i'm gonna trust their uh their opinion on the matter and just like that, boys, that was riding to school on a Yamaha MT-07. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you guys leave a like. Let me know if you guys want to see more of the daily life stuff. Or if you guys just rather see me go to car meets and record when there's actually stuff going on, not just like my daily life. And yeah, guys, be smart, stay in school, and take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.